Hello, and in today's video we're actually going to be talking a little bit about alternators. Now, on my K11 Micro I've actually gone through one alternator already. I bought a recon unit and uh, I haven't actually taken the, the pulley off of that yet. Uh, opting instead to buy another unit just as a uh, get me by kind of sort of thing. However, I'm now at the point now with another failed alternator where I'm going to need to get those pulleys swapped over. So what has actually happened is it appears the unit I've got has actually started overcharging. Now normally when an alternator is in operation it should be charging between uh, 14 and 14.5 14 and volts and it should maintain that voltage at all RPMs. If you've got a blown voltage regulator in the back of the alternator, it's usually a sort of voltage diode pack, then the RPM will uh, sorry, the voltage can either increase with the RPM or be too high to start with. In the case of my micro, it appears that the alternator is both beginning to seize and also overcharging at around 18 volts or so. So, in order to troubleshoot this, um, what I noted was when the car was running and the alternator was running, the alternator was actually getting very, very hot to the touch, uh, to the point where you would touch it and it would almost sort of be, you know, like it was trying to burn you. Um, there was also sort of denoting the fact that, uh, sort of signifying the fact that the bearings are on the way out, you, you were getting a lot of slippage from um, the alternator drive belt itself, which you'll see. Uh, a little bit later in this video, or rather here. Um, one of the other symptoms I was noting was when um, the car was revving at speeds above idle, you would lose all of the um, dash display, uh, speedo, petrol gauge, rev counter, etc. And the airbag light would start to flash, almost as if too much voltage was going to those particular circuits. If you applied um, heavy load items, so you turned on, say, the air conditioning and heated rear window and the headlights, uh, heated rear window especially, you would actually um, sap off some of the voltage and the car would run uh, fairly normally. So when you're actually diagnosing one of these conditions, the first thing to do is to set up your multimeter and measure the voltage across the battery when the car is switched off. It should be a touch over 12 volts, showing that you've got a around 12 and a half volts or so, showing that you've got a healthy and fully charged battery. Start the car and monitor the voltage again. If it sticks at 12 volts, then the alternator is not charging. If it's at 14.4 volts, and 14.4 volts stays constant no matter how much you rev it, of the engine, so say hold the engine at sort of two to three thousand RPM. If it stays at 14.4 volts, then it's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with the alternator. If it surges, or if when you start it, which uh, I'll be doing very shortly, it immediately climbs to a, a too higher voltage, in this case 18 volts, then the alternator is at fault. In fact, you can immediately hear the belt slip in there. You can also see the multimeter is just going upwards to around 18 volts or so. And to be honest, that was enough for me to determine that my hunch was correct and that the uh, alternator was indeed overcharging. It is quite uh, <laughs> slipping quite a bit there, so I turned the engine off at this point. Conclusion, there was nothing else I could do until I get the uh, the pulley swapped on the two alternators. So the next video will actually cover replacing the alternator on a K11 with air conditioning. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button, and also consider subscribing for more upcoming fascinating hobbies. Thanks for watching.